So I watched a YouTube video last night on how to add grease to one of these uh, e-bike motors. That's my lovely dirty e-bike motor. Um, it's funny because the guy recommended that they should put like grease zerks or something on this side. Because basically all the gears, there's like plastic gears typically on the insides of these. Like a gear case. Which typically needs some oil. And in my experience, a lot of times, or grease or something, that a lot of times when you get stuff from the factory with grease, it's it's got like the bare minimum grease. So after putting like 1,500 miles or whatever on this thing, I uh, definitely needed some grease. Um, what I initially tried to do is what the video said, is I basically I took the wheel totally off and uh, started by taking these nuts off and trying to take the cassette off and then bang this side to get the uh, the whole gear case exposed and everything but um for whatever reason this this particular motor on this rattan e-bike here didn't want to open like that it seemed similar i took the screws out from here and it allowed me to take that uh, cassette off but um this was not budging so, um, I started, decided to do this way too late at night, and I had work early in the morning, and I needed this to get to work, so I decided to just put it back together. Um, I put some grease, basically what I wound up doing is I, uh, took off the, the disc brake here, and you see all those, the six screws that hold the disc brakes on, those are basically like grease zerks, they're basically just holes into that gear case. Um, so, since I couldn't get the dang thing off to get in there what I did was I took this uh, this molly coat grease which I always say is good for stuff I think for this it's actually good for this because I'm pretty sure it won't corrode any of the plastic or rubber or anything in there and it's a nice grease so what I did was I squirted a bunch of the grease in the back of this syringe here and then when I put the uh, Put the front on it. Oh, I can't really do this. Hey, kitten. <laughs> Basically, when you put the front on it, you can condense it all to the front, and it'll all come out this tiny little end opening, which is perfect size for the uh, the screw holes there. Basically, and I basically just injected this with a ton of grease, um, so much so that when I eventually mounted this cassette back on. Uh, there was like even, it was kind of cool because it was very even um, at a, each six of these um, disc brake mount holes. There was an even uh, spray of the, like basically like a line, six lines of the uh, lubricant sticking out. It was, made me a little concerned when I went to put the screws back in that it was going to compress, that there was like way too much <clears throat> grease in there and it was going to compress something and cause maybe an issue there but that was not an issue that this uh motor seems to work you know really really well now um hopefully i bought it an extra couple of years <laughs> um and just uh while i'm mentioning it this chain when i got this bike was not sized properly um so if you have an e-bike and you feel like the chain's falling off a lot you might want to double check to see if that chain's actually on there sized properly which there's cool youtube videos i think park tool I think I've watched that video like three or four times to try to chain up a size up a bike chain. It's a really easy to follow thing. Um, just something I don't know. Just another extra thing to think about. If you got a new one of these bikes, that that chain might not be sized properly because it can fit on there and work, but still not be proper. I think the tension in the derailleur is not right, so it's kind of looser than it should be. I mean, it should still be loose, but I don't know. It was hella loose before. And yeah, that's the quick, easy way to change out grease, or add grease at least. Hope that helps.